What's going on Salt Strong Nation? As a lot of you have probably experienced, trout are starting to change their patterns as we move into summer. And a very common thing that I see is I'll have a really good trout bite on maybe top water, paddle tails, or some corkies early in the morning when the temperature is really mild. But as it starts to warm up throughout the day, I see the trout bite really turn off in the shallows and a lot of them start to drop off into deeper water. And those same presentations don't seem to be as effective as they are in deeper water. The shallower presentations are a little bit more difficult to work deeper so you really have to adjust to those fish number one moving deeper and number two then moving to a little bit more of a lethargic state they're not really feeding heavily and you have to induce some serious reaction strikes from these fish and one lure that I've found recently that works really really well is the mirror lure little John you can see I've got it right here this is my preferred color a lot of times I am fishing in some slightly dirtier water and a little bit deeper this golden brim does a really good job of grabbing some light with those gold flames but it seems like the trout really, really like the erratic motion of this lure. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about how to retrieve it in this tip because I want you guys to be able to get out and stay on trout as long as you want to throughout the day. I've been catching fish all the way up till noon, even at 100 degrees, just by making sure that I'm using something that attracts some really heavy strikes from these fish. So the number one thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is putting this somewhere near some deeper structure, whether that be rocks or oysters or anything that's probably a little bit deeper than those flats that you've been fishing in that three foot range, two to three foot range earlier on in the morning. Now, when you get around that structure, the big key with this lure is you need to make it dart. And a lot of times what's gonna happen is those trout will take a quick swipe at it and then leave it alone. You don't see this lure getting hooked in fish a lot of times deeper in the mouth. Most times it's just in the corner that tells you they came up and swiped at it. That's that reaction strike that we're looking for. A lot of times when I see fish that are really on the feed and they're on the bite, that lure all the way in the back of their mouth, sometimes even swallowed uh, because those fish are looking to get a meal and they're not playing games. But with those reaction strikes, you have to be quick to set the hook. As that lure is darting, you'll feel a little bit of a pop and you gotta make sure you got a small window to set that hook. Gotta make sure that you hit those fish. So we've done a couple videos on how to retrieve this lure, but it's really just a quick pops to the side. I don't like to pop straight up with this lure. Again, while we are fishing close to the bottom, it seems like the action of this lure is darting side to side, not straight up. Again, that little straight tail that this lure has is kind of an interesting design. It makes it kind of dart through the water and what I like to do is just give two to three really hard pops right to the side and a lot of times let it settle down for a second or two and then start it again. It's almost like working a top water underwater with a little bit more pausing action as you guys are seeing in some of the videos that I'm showing now. But trout really seem to love this lure. I don't know what it is about that quick darting action but a lot of times when I see that bite turn off in the shallows and my paddle tails or top waters just don't seem to be doing the trick. This really heavy darting action from this little John does a great job of attracting strikes. But I wanted you guys to be prepared as you see fish change their patterns to know exactly what you need to throw at them. And I could not suggest using this little John more on those depth changes near structure like oyster bars or rocks uh, that are right off the edges of flats. That's the ideal scenario for this bait. I don't like using it up in the shallows because it really works best with with a quarter ounce jig head. You can see I've got a quarter ounce strike eye right here. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice jig head to be using. I do like the trout eyes a little bit more. Uh, I just don't have any on me right now, but I like to use a quarter ounce so it can get down to the bottom. And as I'm working that lure, it does not come too far off the bottom because again, most of these fish, you'll catch them. They've got red bellies, red tails. Uh, that means they're hanging out on the bottom. They're rubbing the bottom. Uh, and you wanna make sure your presentation's close there as well, just a, maybe a foot off the bottom at most. So I do like that quarter ounce jig head for those situations. But anytime you've got extreme temperatures, I do also break this out in the winter when it gets really cold uh, and those fish go really deep. This is my ideal presentation to get those trout to strike when the bite turns off. And we do have these in the Salt Strong shop at 20% off for Salt Strong Insiders. I've talked a lot about the golden brim today, but if you're in some slightly cleaner water, that glow or that watermelon red glitter could be a really good choice. Uh, I do just like the, the extra gold fleck that comes with the golden brim, but that's my personal preference because I do fish a lot of dirty water. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tip and this helps you catch a lot more fish as we get a little bit deeper into summer. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the number one online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish, save money on tackle, and make friends fast. So thank you again so much for watching and we're looking forward to seeing you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon.